up my beauties and welcome back to my channel it's your girl silver monique welcome welcome back if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are a returner subscriber welcome back now for today's video it's gonna be a little bit different um i'm just gonna be taking down my wig that i've had installed for i would say a week now maybe but it's lifting in the front i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah there's definitely some lifting up here and so i want to go ahead and just take this wig out and i'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update on my locks and we are going to measure my locks to see how long they currently are so let's go ahead and get into it and before we do make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you like comment and subscribe before we get into this okay all right y'all let's go ahead and get into it all right so i took the bonnet off this is how this i had the hair kind of like in the up um half up half down style and so have ooh doing too much but yeah i had it curled and everything it was cute but it's time to just give this a break let my dress back out and figure out my next hairstyle so i'm going to give you guys this update so i want to show you guys some of the things that i use to take out my um my wigs because i did use glue to install this wig and i know some people they might use so you can use alcohol i know some people use alcohol um i have this i see that so i usually use this this works really well so i spray it on my hairline because that's where the glue is at and then i'll probably wait about like two minutes and then it starts lifting on its own which makes it so much easier to take the wigs off because you don't you don't you're not pulling your own hair out and then I also have this some um, bonding remover from this company called Nayo on Amazon. Definitely check them out. So I've used this and it worked pretty well. Um, it came in a box like this. So it came with the bonding glue as well as the um, bonding remover. So um I'm just going to go ahead and use this spray because I really like this and it works really fast. I mean, the other stuff works good too, but I've been using this for a while. So I'm going to just stick to what I know. And once I've run out with this, I'm going to go ahead and use the other one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and I got my, look, I got my towel too because sometimes this stuff be dripping. So you want to make sure you don't get this in your eye. Sometimes I kind of just like rub it in there too. I had to take my glasses off. So I'm about to be blind for a little bit. I don't know how much I spray. I just, I just, ooh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all i am back like i was i dang near pulled out all my dang lashes on this side yeah i didn't i made a mistake by not wiping my forehead before i lifted it off of my forehead I lifted this towel off my forehead, so yeah, I think it got in my eye, but I don't know for sure because I know I had some dripping on my sides, so I just wait a little bit and then I just try kind of like pull it up to see where it's at. Like right now, it's pulling up, as you guys can see, because it's on there, okay? It's pulling up. 
me check. This is real sturdy right there. So I'm just rub it in. I'm gonna listen to a podcast while I'm doing this, you guys. While we're waiting. And so again, you guys, so I'm just rubbing in the solution into the glue and that helps just bring up all the glue up off my scalp and that just helped us just separate everything. But y'all, this stuff was feeling so good when I was just rubbing it all in. Like I was really just giving myself a massage. Y'all see I had my eyes closed and everything like it felt good. I was just in the moment right now listening to this podcast. This is how a child can take a All right, you guys, so y'all can see that I still have glue on my hair. So I'm just spraying this on the parts where I feel the glue. And that's just gonna lift the glue up off my edges and just have the glue come off my hair without me having to comb and pull and do all that snagging and stuff and pulling out my edges. So let's move on. So again, what I am doing is I'm just spraying a solution onto my hair only where the glue is at and this just helps to loosen up that glue up off my hair and this just makes it so much easier I mean so 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 much easier so that this glue isn't pulling out my hair at the same time that I am trying to get it out of my hair and so the longer that you let this solution sit on the glue and just wait for a little bit the easier it is for this glue to come up out your hair though now I have begun taking down my braids. You guys see that, of course, my hair was braided to the back. And so I'm just taking these braids down and just letting my dreads loose. And my hair is super dry right now. So I didn't oil my scalp um, in this video, but I definitely made sure that I did that after I got done recording. All right, you guys, so I'm all done taking down my hair. And now let's go ahead and do a length check so I checked my video from three months ago so let's see this video right here I'm also gonna leave the link to that um, previous video in the description box below and I'm also gonna put a picture on the screen so you guys can know exactly which video it is if you weren't able to see that really clear but um, in that video I did check the ends in the previous video my hair was five inches and in this video I believe I said it was six and a half so from going from the roots and going all the way down so that one says six on this side and then I checked this one and it's like it's dang near six and a half so it's, it's close so it's like between i'm gonna show y'all it's like right here that's six and a half right there but it's like right there so it's pretty close but yeah that's the update on my dreads as far as like the length i did recently just get my um dreads retwisted before i put that wig on and they still look pretty good um i don't know you guys maybe i should definitely just leave my hair out for a while because i do want my hair to grow if you guys have any tips on like any um hair growth stuff and i feel like maybe i should just continue to, like just moisturize hydrate my dress make sure i wash it make sure i don't pull on it but as far as like products i'm still trying to figure out like what products i need to use and things like that and i'm also thinking about dyeing my dreads like i really want to dye them like i never dyed my hair i never i feel like this is my opportunity to just do what you want so when you got one life dye your hair 
but I need some suggestions y'all let me know what color y'all think I should dye my hair I kind of want like the um a burnt orange color I don't know y'all I don't know if that's doing too much or what but all I know is that I want to dye my hair I don't know if I want to do blonde I should do a burgundy Y'all give me some ideas, what y'all think, what y'all think, what y'all think. But all I know is I, I want to dye it. And so I feel like for my next like update video, that is something that I plan on doing. So make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And stay tuned for that next video because it's, it's about to be lit. I really want to dye my hair. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all on the next video. Before we go, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all on the next one.